Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. It's just a beautiful day out here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, Apollo and Xena, my Cali Kings, had a beautiful clutch, which hatched out while I was at Daytona. So today, I'm gonna be showing you all those babies. They just had their first shed, but first, I got a delicious pot of coffee brewing. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. So the coffee is ready. That aroma of caffeine is just hitting me, touching my soul. Now I want to make a toast for all of you guys. You've really been watching all the videos, supporting the channel. I also want to make a toast to these baby Cali Kings that I'm going to be showing you today. So here's to you guys. So now take a look at Xena. This is the mom to these beautiful babies that I'm gonna be showing you today. And this was her early in June, about a week before laying her eggs. She had her prelay shed a couple of days prior to this. You can see that nice scale separation right when they're swelling with eggs. Their scales separate a little bit. It fades the pattern out, but this girl is just beautiful. So it's nighttime. I just got back from Daytona and none of these eggs even started pipping when I left. I'm back and now I see a bunch of Cali Kings. They all hatched out. There's still one more from what I could see in the egg pipping out. I think the rest hatched. We'll take a quick look at these little guys and then I'll let them relax. Oh yeah, wow. Really, really nice clutch hair. Nice and plump. Look at the size of these babies. One of the things I do love about the Cali Kings, they come out nice and robust. Nice big eggs, nice big snakes. And these Cali Kings look really nice. And right here, this is the egg that was just pipping. You can see his nose. Let me zoom in. See him right there, just peeking. So now this was a couple of days ago. I opened up the bin, handling the babies, everything seemed okay. And as I put one back, one of the babies choked out that baby I put back in the bin. Maybe it was me, the scent, maybe I got them excited, but just to be safe, they are Cali King. So what I'm doing here is separating all the babies into their own bins just to be safe. And then I'm gonna show you all these babies in the natural sunlight. Now, none of these babies shed out yet. So that's one of the babies right there. Now, normal, normally with Cali Kings, even though they're known to, you know, try and attack each other and be aggressive with each other and possibly eat each other. Usually as babies, they don't do that. <laughs> this guy's trying to get out. Usually as babies, they don't do that. They still got that egg yolk in them, but Maybe he wasn't trying to eat the other one. He was just playing or something, <laughs> but I'm not gonna take a chance. So I didn't set up the actual rack yet. The bins aren't ready. So I'm just putting them temporarily in these little tiny Sterlite bins with a little water dish and paper towel, just like I would if I put them into the rack.
So this little one is the one that started all the drama and the reason why I had to separate the entire clutch. Now I was just opening the bin, looking at the eggs, showing my fiance the babies, and I touched one of the other babies. And for some reason, this one attacked the one I touched, grabbed it by the throat and started choking it out. Now, it might have just been playing. It might have been because I touched the other one. It got excited. I'm sure if I didn't open the bin, there may have never been a problem because prior to that, there was no problems, but this one grabbed it. So I separated the whole clutch. Definitely don't want to take a chance. And now going forward with my Cali Kings, I'm going to separate the entire clutch before the first shed just to be safe. But normally with the Cali Kings, you could wait until they have their first shed with no problems, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So now I didn't sex any of these and these guys just shed out about two days ago. So I wanted to give you an update. This is the first time I'm really showing you these and uh, and I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm gonna show you the nicest one in the clutch last and I will be holding that one back. But this whole clutch came out really, really nice. I'm impressed. So this is the next baby I wanted to show you. Really like the head stamp, the head pattern on this one. Look at the way that white line comes straight down and then off to the side, those two little designs of white. Beautiful, really nice. Right there, it looked like there was gonna be another, uh, another uh, band of black, but it didn't come through. So there's a little bit of black between that saddle, a little bit of black in between that saddle and that one right there. But otherwise, just a nice clean black and white Cali King. Now, once I start feeding them, I'll be giving you an update video telling you which is male, which is female, which baby is number one, number two, number three, in case you're interested in any of them. So I'm gonna put this baby back. I got a couple more to show you before the sun goes down. Now, this is the next baby that I wanted to show you. Really nice, clean whites, really bold black markings. That head stamp is just killer on this one. Has a beautiful look to it. The tail has a little bit of an aberrancy. The top is almost like an ink drop. And then you have some stripes that went all the way down. And then those are ink drops. Just a beautiful Cali King. Really unique looking pattern. Oh yeah. Now none of these Cali Kings tried to bite me yet. And something I love about breeding the Cali Kings, I'm raising my voice because there's an airplane going over. Something I love about these Cali Kings, they hatch out really robust and big. So I could feed these guys regular sized pinkies out of the egg, unlike some of the corn snakes and other snakes, some of them come out really, really small. Now this is the next baby I wanna show you. My fiance was talking about possibly holding this one back, but I already held back one. We can't hold back more than one. I don't really have space. It has a polka dot pattern from the head, right from that head stamp. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. It's like a zipper pattern over here from polka dot to zipper. The whites are super clean on this one. It has a totally broken up zipper pattern all the way through. And then towards the tail, it's just a clean white and black banded Cali King. When I move out a little bit, you could see it's like different patterns all on one snake. Now that's one beautiful snake. And you never know, maybe I will hold this one back. <laughs> Amazing how calm these are right out of the egg. Think about humans when they come out. They're crying, they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. They can't even walk. These, they're already walking, relaxed. It's just a thing of beauty, it's amazing. You can see it's, this one is super relaxed too, just hanging out, hanging around right on me, not even thinking about eating me or nothing. Look at that. So I hope you guys are having fun, enjoying the video. I'm just enjoying it, how nice the weather is. It's been really, really hot out here lately. Right now, it's just nice and cool, the breeze coming through. And uh, this is the next baby I wanna show you. 
something interesting and unique about this one. It has a little white circle of white right there. So right there, it has like, <laughs> right there, it has like a little aberrant band. The rest are just like ink drops, so it breaks it up there. That's kind of unique. And then the rest of the snake is just a nice, clean, black and white banded. Give you guys a close up, nice head stamp. All these babies have nice head stamps. Really nice, crisp whites. Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we would go To the Alright guys, you know Ink Drops are among my favorite of the Cali Kings and this one is just amazing. Let me take him out. He's hiding, just hanging around in this little deli cup. Alright guys, so take a close look at this beautiful Ink Drop Cali King that I produced. Now this is one of the nicest examples of an ink drop that I've ever seen in person. Dottie, a female that I picked up, is the nicest one that I've ever seen in person and she'll be breeding next season. And this one definitely rivals her. Just gorgeous and you know they're beautiful all in their own way. So there's no competition here but look at the sides. If you look at the sides it's almost polished up white there's not much markings a lot of the ink drops have a little bit more black markings on the side this one's really clean so now what you want in a nice ink drop is perfectly black marks on a clean snake you don't want the black to come all the way down like a band it's just a dot on each top usually some ink drops have a couple of bands on them that come all the way down and the rest is ink drop this one has none of that, just a pure, beautiful ink drop. And so there was supposed to be another black mark right there, but it didn't come through, so it's almost like a gap. So it's even more white on the snake. Just amazing looking. So I'm definitely gonna be holding this one back for future breeding. And something else that's really special about this snake, the belly is almost solid, solid, clear, clear white. Most of these Cali Kings have black on the bellies. So this one just seems to have a lot of white all over it. So let me put this little guy or girl, I didn't sex him yet, back in his bin and I'll be right back. happy I was able to show you these beautiful babies just love the Cali Kings now Daytona all those videos they're out I don't have to edit any more Daytona videos I had a blast doing it but I'm happy it's over because now I could show you all the babies here I got coral snow babies pumpkins babies paprikas babies I might have other babies I'm not even thinking about but now I could show you them, give you guys updates. I'm hungry, that caffeine is in my system, so I feel really nice. I just need a meal, so I'm gonna go get something. I might cook, I might get something out, I'm not sure. But I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.